So it seems here that both the big parties are making a big plea for generation rent. Well, yes. The way that Michael Gove is portraying it is that he's offering, uh, he's making re rental life easier for people who rent. But at the same time, he's, he's giving a little sweetener to landlords and that it's going to be easier for them to evict antisocial tenants. There have, however, been quite a lot of questions raised in the Conservative Party. And you notice that the leader in the Telegraph uh, is very, very anti-Michael Gove's uh, plans. And what they say is that actually the, the pendulum has swung too far in favour of rent. And what they're worried about is that landlords will simply take their homes off the rental market altogether and will end up with there are already 11 million people living in the rental sector. And yes, of course, it would be great if some of those homes went off the market and young people were able to buy them instead. But it seems more likely, given the current state of the buying market and the state of interest rates and how big a deposit needs to be, that some people will just find that they've got nowhere to live at all. Mm. And some of these measures, it seems, what The Telegraph argues, which is quite an interesting interesting thought is that actually the issue is that the, the, the private rental market is overcomplicated and actually adding new laws on top of existing ones might go a bit too far. So I think that this, this plan won't be sort of welcomed with open arms across the Conservative Party and it'll be interesting to see what happens as it progresses through the Commons because we could see a bit of a backbench rebellion from the sort of trussites in the party, the free marketeers who don't like the idea of the state intervening in that private contract between renters and owners. Well the trouble is for my Michael Gove, everything he proposes seems to be met with this kind of response because he tried to tackle the problem with house building, which is obviously linked to this as well because it does nothing to yeah. tackle the, the issue with supply of housing. And that got thrown back in his face. Um, and, and, and what is being proposed in that regard? Because, you know, we've got Starmer on the front of the Times this morning saying, well, we'll build on the green belt. What, what are the Tories proposing well, in terms of supply? Exactly. Michael Gove is saying, said yesterday, I was watching him speak at the uh, National Conservative Conference, and he was saying that we need to build more houses. But he didn't really flesh out that proposal much more. And that we just saw yet again that problem at the heart of the Conservative Party, that on the one side, you've got the sort of free marketeers, the Thatcherites, the, the Trussites of the world, I use that as a sort of shorthand that not all of these people support Liz Truss, but who, who believe that we, we must just build more houses, get the economy growing, uh, uh, give young people places to live, etc. Then on the other side, you've got the sort of small C conservatives in, in the shires or who represent mm. uh, places in the shires who are very worried about new developments going up and, and ruining the views of, of, of their constituents. Mm. So it's a really, really difficult problem. And, and as you say, it means that Michael Gove is sort of being attacked from mm both sides, whatever he comes up with. On the one hand, um, you could argue that the Green Belt should be sacred land. On the other hand, this nimbyism won't solve the fact. We've got figures coming out on the 25th of May. Um, expected as high as one million net migration. That's one Leeds and one Nottingham every year. Without building houses, we're heading for a crisis. Well, exactly. And the Labour Party, I'm sure, will make the point, I've forgotten what the exact statistic is, but something like 60% of, of, of Greenbelt land is given over to things like golf courses uh, and, and, and car parks. So the idea that it's sort of a, a beautiful space for, for residents to, to enjoy is a bit anachronistic, really. So I think that this is an interesting proposal from Labour, but I think it'll be very, very difficult for the Tories to replicate it because of all those mm. NIMBYs in the blue wall. And the Tories know after that local election, they desperately need their heartlands. They can't be complacent on that vote. Mm.